Bailey, business strategist. Today, I'll be talking to Rachel, an entrepreneur, and I'll be walking her through how to do a year in review and how to set those goals and to set them smartly. Follow me. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Claire. Final, you know what, it's so good to finally meet you and to sit down with you. Mm -hmm. But I want to understand more about what do you do? What exactly do you do? Okay, so I'm a digital consultant. I have been for, well, forever, but I went out on my own about a year and a half ago, approaching two years. I provide digital marketing services for corporate companies right here in Jamaica. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are playing in a competitive space. I am. And what I want to talk to you more about today is, mm -hmm. Have you spent some time to plan? Have you sat down and have done some planning? <laughs> well, of course I've done some planning. A lot of it, you know, occurs in my head sometimes, but I definitely have done some planning. Okay, Rachel, we need to move from what's in your head mm -hmm. and to get it on paper. Hallelujah. And what I want to, you know, <laughs> so today what we're going to do is a year in review. Okay. And what that is, it's evaluating your past performance. Mm -hmm. And what it will help you to do mm -hmm. is to really get to your goal setting and to ensure that you're setting smart goals. What I want you to do is to go back into your head and to start with an open mind. You want to make sure that you <laughs> are approaching this process from an objective standpoint. Okay. And what the information is, is just what is there. So okay. you want to remove your emotions from the process. You want to be intentional. So while you're removing your emotions, you want to be intentional, meaning having a clear path as to what it is that you're trying to accomplish okay. through this process. Okay. So okay. after that, you want to also ensure that you have a schedule. Okay. So making it time bound mm -hmm. because oftentimes as entrepreneurs you get so busy right. or you rush through the process. Okay. So this isn't just a one day thing, mm -hmm. but you want to spend some... A one week? Maybe one week, <laughs> one month, depending on your business okay. and what exactly you do and how long you have been in business and what, you know, the length of information or content that you have to look at. Mm -hmm. So now that you have your list of assessment questions, mm -hmm. what you want to do is focus on three key areas mm -hmm. i always say start with the team okay and why this is important is that people are core to any business or to any entity mm -hmm. and at times we tend to take that for granted you want to look at the core operations mm -hmm. itself mm -hmm. and with looking at your core operations this is where the financial stuff comes into play uh, I, know, <laughs> I know i know i know <laughs> the money the okay. money mm -hmm. the money so looking at your financial statements your mm -hmm. pnl your cash mm -hmm. flow your mm -hmm. balance sheet if you so have a balance sheet mm -hmm. kind of thing depending on where you are mm -hmm. in your business so mm -hmm. you want to look at those key matrix look mm -hmm. at your sales mm -hmm. did you have any sales target mm -hmm. did you meet those targets look at your margins your gross your net that kind of thing and if it is that you're not comfortable with your numbers mm -hmm. and you have an account of which you should have an accountant it doesn't matter what stage you are in business you need an accountant <laughs> and a good lawyer like I like to say okay. right so for them to explain to you those numbers and how they translate Work. right into okay. real meaningful information for you okay. as you move forward in a strategic plan mm -hmm. next you need to look at your customers if that's okay. a part of your matrix that mm -hmm. you do have so you mm -hmm. want to look at your customer acquisition mm -hmm. retention mm -hmm. or conversion mm -hmm. so all of this in terms of your core operations is going to be dependent on mm -hmm. your matrix and how you're measuring your performance and for each business mm -hmm. it's a different set of matrix that you may be using Okay. Then you move on to the strategy itself. So for 2018, you would have probably set some goals. I did. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you need to go back and revisit those goals mm. to understand whether or not the strategy actually worked mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. What you did well, 
what you didn't do so I, well. I did that. I did that. Okay. Great. Yes. Now, okay. So what I did well. No, let's make sure yeah. that I got everything. Okay. Yeah. So what you did well, uh -huh. what you didn't do so well, okay. and what you need to change concerning the strategy. Because okay. while the strategy may still be the same going forward, mm -hmm. you may need to do some adjustments Tweaking. here or there. For sure. Okay. okay. And I think that ultimately having the right set of information allows you to make more savvy decisions. Mm, so true. a year in review mm -hmm. actually allows you to take the information that you do have, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. based on your performance, because mm -hmm. it allows you to look at the future, what future direction you want to go in based on where you're coming from. Secondly, it also allows you to correct those little mistakes or big mistakes. Yes, that yes. slips through the cracks, yes. right? And okay. finally, so it allows you to continuously refine the process. So it makes, in my head, it mm -hmm. makes sense. And for a lot of big businesses <laughs> mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. this process makes sense because it transfers into what? Money. So now that we have completed your year in review, mm -hmm. good job on that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. We need to now look at your goals for 2019. Okay. So what I want us to do is to look at them in categories. So long term, short term. Okay. Right? So mm -hmm. for your long term goals, it's actually those that are more than a year. Okay. Short term mm -hmm. is less than a year. Okay. Right? Clear. And with those longer term goals, it really speaks to your mission. The mission that you're trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Say for example, you are trying to become one of the top players in the digital marketing space. Mm -hmm. It may take some time for you to get there, mm -hmm. but in the short run, the goals that you're setting now mm -hmm. should be helping you to get, get there. Okay. okay. Got Great. It. Mm -hmm. So I know you know smart goals. Mm -hmm. They have to be specific. Mm -hmm. They have to be measurable, attainable, realistic or relevant, and time-bound. Mm -hmm. So let's walk through each category now and how you would be measuring your goals against these categories. Okay, right. cool. Let's do so, that. So first is specific. Mm -hmm. Your goal has to be clear, meaning when it's not convoluted, mm -hmm. not general like, oh, I want to sell more. What does that mean? Okay. So, for you, what's one of your goals that you want to accomplish? I think everybody wants to increase revenue, so okay. maybe we can focus on that. I would like to earn 120,000 US dollars for the year. Okay, mm -hmm. so if we look at the elements of those goals, mm -hmm. of that particular goal, mm -hmm. it's you want to earn 120 US dollars mm -hmm. by the end of the 20, year. 20,000. 120,000. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. 120,000 US dollars mm -hmm. by the end of the year. Yes. Very clear. Mm -hmm. I understand it mm -hmm. and I'm certain that you understand it. I do. It. Okay, so next you move to measurable. Okay. And in this sense, it must be a target, must be affixed to that goal. Okay. And also a plan as to how this is going to be done, mm -hmm. but more from a quantitative standpoint. Okay. So for you, mm -hmm. you want to earn up. 120,000 US dollars for the year for the year mm -hmm. so for it to be measurable mm -hmm. what would be the plan or the way forward for you to do this well I think you could break that down into monthly targets there so maybe go. like 10,000 US dollars a month 10,000 US dollars a month mm -hmm. and then 30,000 for quarter, the quarter right on average right on average mm -hmm. excellent mm -hmm. now it has to be attainable Mm -hmm. Right, and when we talk about attainable goals, mm -hmm. it really rolls into it being realistic, it's feasible, it can be done. Mm -hmm. Right, I think it can be done. It can be done. And right. Why do you think it can be done? Well, uh, based on previous experiences with clients and you know what your package offers are, if you get enough clients that can buy into a particular level of package, then you can attain that every month. Okay, so what mm -hmm. I'm hearing is that you're saying the market opportunity is actually there. Yes. So now it's for you to go out and get there, right? On, on the opportunity that's Agreed. currently there. Yes. All right, so mm -hmm. with doing that and thinking about that, mm -hmm. then you must have some sort of strategy mm -hmm. as to how it is that you're going to get the new clients mm -hmm. that you need mm -hmm. in order to, on average, be mm -hmm. carrying in 10,000 US dollars per month. Okay. All right, okay. which really rolls into, is it realistic? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Is it relevant? Mm -hmm. And how you would be looking at this portion of it is really saying, 
do I have the resources to do this? Okay. My team on board, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Does it roll up into my overall vision and mission of my company and mm -hmm. what I do and what score? Mm -hmm. So in your case, what do I, you think? Yeah, I do think so. I think one important thing that I'll have to do is retain the base customers that I have. And I do have the resources, resources in terms of the team to put out the kind of quality work that I think um, a client at that level would want okay. definitely have the team for that and what else did you say resources and no i, I said you have to have resources mm -hmm. in order to do it the team mm -hmm. in order to get that done a hundred percent a hundred percent well that's good mm -hmm. and lastly mm -hmm. finally <laughs> time bound. yes so it has to be time bound. and in your case 2019 baby by the end of 2019 correct 120,000 us dollars in yes ma'am don't rob me anybody okay. Okay, so I think that you're clear. Yes. So what I want you to do is to continue this process with mm -hmm. your other goals, mm -hmm. ensuring that they are specific, mm -hmm. they are measurable, mm -hmm. attainable, realistic, realistic or relevant, mm -hmm. or and time bound. Time bound. All right. All right. Sounds like you're on your way. So, all right. So I have a plan in place. Are we checking in in December, 2019? No, no I think. Q1, at the end of Q1, mm -hmm. being able to stop and do quarterly evaluations, mm -hmm. very important as well, because okay. you may have to change or switch up your strategy depending on what's going on. All right, I'm excited. I think I can make it happen. I think you can. Yeah, I will.